Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna take a closer look how to upgrade your SSD from your MacBook Pro with Retina. Um, the first step is create your own Time Machine backup. In this case I used a Western Digital 1TB external hard drive for around 60 bucks. And yeah, I already got 256 GB on my MacBook Pro and after the time when I'm cutting videos and making videos um, it's too small for me. 265 GB or 256 no 250 GB are not that enough. Okay, uh, in the next step um, we're gonna open up our MacBook Pro uh, with a torque screwdriver but um, be careful you lost your warranty when you open your device so the link for the Torx screwdriver uh, is in the link down below it costs about uh, 50 bucks 50 euros or 50 dollars as I think there is no that huge difference on the market so um, there are three screws on the right and three on the left two on the bottom and two on the top okay let's wait some seconds okay you can open up on the top side and as you can see there is the original um, Apple SSD and we want to replace it with an MZATA adapter so we have to open it or we have to push the old SSD away from the MacBook and I'm using a bigger Torx here okay now we can remove the older or original Apple SSD from the board and yeah yeah and we want to replace it with this nice AMSATA adapter here the adapter costs about 15 bucks on Amazon maybe 12 on eBay I don't know so on the next step we put our AMSATA um, SSD on the adapter and uh, I, in this case I'm using the Samsung or Samsung 850 Evo MZATA with 500 GB for around 150 bucks on Amazon and uh, some people write down that this MZATA um, SSD is way faster than other SSDs but we will see on this video it could be a true or not. Um, on the end, on this, at the end of this video, I have some tests for you. Okay, maybe not some tests, but I got one test for you, and you will be surprised. So, as you can see, this M Zata SSD is a really small SSD, and yeah. On the next step, we we mount it to the adapter and um, fix it with the screwdriver. Firstly, I was a bit shocked. It was a bit thick, but we will see. It's not a problem. Okay, step four. Put everything together. Get your MZATA mounted on your adapter and stick it into your MacBook slot for your SSD and replace it with the new one. Don't forget to fix it with your screwdriver and we are nearly done. Okay, as I already said um, that the SSD is a bit too thick and that this will not be a problem for us. Um, the solution is 
that um, the back cover from the MacBook has some um, some kind of plastic protection for the chips and yeah you don't will see any difference from before and after okay on the next step we need to boot up from our USB drive um, I already installed Mac OS or El Capitan on my USB, USB drive before. I will put a link in the description down below how to finish or how to create a booting USB drive with Mac OS. Um, yeah, Puss, uh, press Alt and the power button together to boot up the boot menu and yeah this will took a bit of time and we will preview this video now okay around after around 50 minutes we have to we need to open up the disk utility program and choose our new SSD and create a new part uh, partition uh, because the SSD is finished for Windows systems and we can't use this basic standard format uh, from Windows for our Mac OS system. Okay, the last step is that we load our time machine back up to, your, to our new SSD, but I forgot that my finished USB drive um, was finished with OS X El Capitan and that I couldn't load my time machine back up to my new SSD. So I decided to create a new account on my MacBook and upgraded it with macOS Sierra. And then it was possible to me to load my latest time machine back up to my MacBook Pro. And yeah, that's it. But before we finish this video, I will show you the last test that I made for you guys. Okay, here's my test. I just fired up uh, Blackmagic's disk speed test and the results are amazing. Um, around 4 460 megabytes per second to, for writing and around 500 megabytes per second for reading. Um, yeah, my bad that I didn't done a test before I upgraded my SSD from my MacBook Retina. Um, yeah, um, I will put some comment down below in the description for which MacBook models um, this upgrade is possible. And I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope it was uh, useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you next time.